Francis O'Keefe here for Gold Guitar Lessons. As promised, we're doing the follow-up to my last video, uh, John Mayer Belief. We're gonna do the solo, let's cut the talk, and let's get right down to learning the solo note for note. <laughs> So here's the breakdown for the solo in John Mayer's song Belief. It's in the key of D minor and it's, uh, it's using pretty much only pentatonic uh, notes. Okay, so we're going to start here. We're going to do a slide from 13 to 15. If you want, you can add a rake to it and a vibrato at the end of it. Okay. We're then going to go to 14 on the G string with our ring finger and we're going to do a slide backwards to 12. In fact, two of them. So we slide backwards from 14 to 12. We reset the slide up to 14 and do it again. The second time we do the slide, we actually hold 12 and we pull off to 10. So just to repeat that, it's going to look like... And that's just with one pick. So, so far we have this. Our next riff Okay, let's break this down. We're going to do a bend here on 12 on the G string. It's a bend and cut, so we don't want to hear the note drop. We just want to bend it. We cut it. We move on to the next note, which is 10 on the B string. 13 on the B string. Back to 10 on the B string. We're going to bend 12 on the, uh, on the G string, 12 natural, 10 on the G string, the D string 12, we're going to finger roll up to the A string 12 and slide backwards to 10 three times in a row. And then we're going to pick 8. So just to recap that. Now we're going to pick 10 on the A string, 8 on the A string. We're going to slide from 10 to 12 on the A string again. We're going to hit D string 10, D string 12, G string 10. We're going to go back to the D string and we're going to pull off from 12 to 10. So to piece it together, we have For the second part of the solo, we're going to jump down to 5 on the G string and we're going to slide to 7. Three times. On the third slide, we have to do a bunch of pull-offs um, and they're not picked, okay? So one of them is picked, so uh, let me break it down. So we're still holding the last slide. We're gonna pull off to five, that's seven to five. We're then gonna pick seven on the D string and we're gonna slide down to five, pull off to three, Gonna hit a ghost hammer on on the A string five, and then pull off the three. Okay. We're then gonna slide from three to five on the D string. So two slides, and then we're gonna bend the fifth fret D string and do a release pull off. To three. So, so just to show you this part again, the next part is going to have our ring finger on 12 on the G string and our middle finger on the B string 11. We're going to pick both those and we're going to slide up to 14 and 13 three times in a row. Okay, the last one we slide away from it. And our very last section. So 
So for this part, we're going to slide in from the A string 10 to, to the A string 12, hit the D string 10, D string 12, G string 10. We're going to bend on the 12th fret G string. It's a bend and cut. Go back to 12 natural. Back to 10 on the G string. We're going to back to 12 again and do a small bend and cut. Okay. In the very last section, we're going to slide with our middle finger from 12 to 14 on the G string. And then we're going to hit our index finger on the B string, 13. Ring finger, 15th fret B string. High E string, 13, with a small blues curl. And then we're going to pull off from the 15th fret B string to 13. And then we're going to end on a 15th fret B string note. I hope this has helped. Uh, this solo, for some reason, I was having a rough time explaining it, but all the correct notes are there. Uh, break it down just like I have, piece by piece. Learn one part, memorize it, uh, and then start playing to the music. Use any tune like I do. I train to any tune, and I do everything by ear from any, any tune, which actually ensures that I get it extremely accurate. So don't forget to subscribe as I post videos twice per week now, uh, and it's always a huge mix of everything okay theory songs uh, and a lot of styles see you next time